DNA is actually very, very long. It would never fit uh, if it were as it is in, in the nucleus of a cell. So um, it can fit in the nucleus of a cell because it is compacted. And actually this compacting is uh, at least part of the, of the work is done by the uh, histone um, acetylase transfer, uh, acetyl transfer, and the cis histone deacetylase um, that if you create an equilibrium where if the HTAC overwork, uh, in essence, the uh, DNA is compacted and, and therefore it cannot be translated. So if you inhibit the HDAC, uh, then the uh, DNA gets loose and it can be translated. So the uh, inhibitor of HDAC, uh, if you want, allow translation of a number of genes. Moreover, actually the HDAC uh, are also involved in the acetylation of non-histonic enzymes. And so also that is probably part of the mechanism. If we take all this into the uh, Duchenne pathogenesis, you know that uh, Duchenne is a genetic disorder. Uh, the defect uh, is in the dystrophin gene. And so the result of that is that the dystrophin is not present in the muscle of Duchenne patient. So uh, dystrophin is actually playing different roles in the muscle. One is a, if you want, uh, a mechanical protection of the muscle fibers. In essence, it is acting as a shock absorber every time the muscle contracts. So in the absence of that, obviously, the, um, um, there is actually much more frequent damage of the muscle fibers. The second role, important role that uh, dystrophin plays together with the other protein that forms the dystrophin associated complex is actually to control the translation of genes uh, which are important in the repair of uh, uh, the muscle fibers. And actually uh, at least part of this is done via the control of the HDAC. So when the dystrophin is not there, the HDAC are overworking and uh, the if you're a repairing system the, of the muscle fibers does not work properly. So if you put all, uh, all this together uh, in the Duchenne muscle, in essence, you have more frequent damage of the muscle fibers and also the repairing system doesn't work properly. In the uh, normal muscle, the repairing system would replace uh, other muscle fibers in substitution of the damaged muscle fibers. In the Duchenne muscle, what happens is that uh, instead of having new muscle fibers, the muscle is being replaced by fat and by scars. And this is, in essence, the uh, degeneration of the muscle, which then uh, is at the basis of all the uh, manifestation of the disease, which are related to uh, impairment of the muscle, starting from uh, losing the ability to walk, and then uh, with the progression of the disease, also losing the ability to use the upper limb, an impairment of the uh, respiratory muscle, and then also an impairment of the heart. And actually, the cardiorespiratory insufficiency is what leads to premature death uh, in these patients. 